Hello Instagram, so this is the brand new Vito Pro Pack Wrenches LC Plumbing Tool Bag designed for domestic and commercial plumbers, whether you're carrying a large set of pipe wrenches, pipe bender, blow lamp or hand tools. Basically one bag for all your plumbing needs. You've got an external pouch that is removable. It's an open top style tool bag, so you can just pull the handles to one side and you've got a centralized area with two V-SWAT panels. Now the V-SWAT panels are obviously completely removable, so you can just throw power tools in there if you wish. But if you can leave them in, we've got a blow lamp holder. We've got two large tool pockets. I've got very size rear screwdrivers in them ones. On this side, you've got four tool pockets across and they go from high to low. So depending on the length of the tool, you can choose the correct pocket. So we've got box spanners right up to 250 mil plier wrenches. And then you've got two large pockets at the bottom for very size tools. Not much of a gap in the middle, so I've only chucked a couple of items in there, Laco and a um, grease gun. And on the side, you've got your hammer loop and then these through loop pockets, large loop pockets, which I'll show you on this side. So we've got Rothenberger roll cuts. Now, you've got a P bore on here, so any sharp tools are going to slide in and not damage in and sort of cut into the sides. And like I say, these pass right through, so you can drop it, you know, if you want to drop it, just one set of spanners in there you can do. Um, easy put through. So they're really handy for hacksaws and things like that. And then towards the outside of the bag, you've got these drop zones and this tool pocket's slightly higher, divided slightly higher than this one. So depending on the height of the tools, you can choose which one are easiest to put in. Now, on this side, I've got me Monument 15 mil pipe benders. We've got backhoe saw, we've got 400 mil level, 300 mil weir screwdriver. You get the picture. Basically, we're getting a lot of tall tools in this. Uh, on this side, I've got just a parts pouch with soldering equipment in a heat mat and then some various odd tools. These little dividers have got stainless steel tops on them so they get protected if you're dropping large spanners in. Obviously, if you're a commercial plumber, you're going to be putting bigger pipe wrenches in. But in the very bottom of these, you've got some impact material. So if you're dropping large spanners in, uh, it'll take the bounce out of them and they won't crack the base. Like I say, inserted into each one of these like an impact material. So let's like say dropping heavy spanners in, they're not going to bang on the uh, base and crack it. It's very well thought out. You've got this heavy duty uh, rubber material on the top, which is chemical resistant and sort of a bit of heat protection and obviously waterproof. You know, we're plumbers, we have wet hands. It's not going to fray or get dirty. It's wipeable down. All the interior is like a tarpaulin type material, so it's all wipeable, so there's no cloth in there. So even if you did have a, a leak and sprayed water and you could empty it out and clean it out really easily. You've got nice handles, lever handle system on it, which are a lovely, really good quality lever on these. And, and obviously they'll just get better with time as they were in. And then externally on the ends, you've got tape mounts, you've got one on the other side. And again, you've got this rubberized material on this section. So depending on what you might want to put soon, nice and grippy. Um, same on this side. So I've got a knife through these and this rubber grips this really well. I've got my Weira um, Allen keys on this one. You've got very sized D-rings, hanging various items on. You've got a couple of carabiner loops on the front side here. I've just got a couple of uh, drip stops on this. And then you've got some slimmer tool pockets for pens, pencils, and slim tools that you can put in there. Um, finishing like a nice gray finish, really, really nice. And like I say, just a good, easy access tool bag uh, that you can carry a lot of kit in. Like I say, I'm a domestic plumber and I've got everything I need in the blow lamp, soldering, hand tools, and bending machine, and tool tools. And there's not many tool bags I know of that can accommodate all them types of tools in one bag. And then you've got the external tool pouch. So let's have a look inside this. So, actually on the outside first, we've got a front tool pouch on it. We have a stretch unit, so you can get all sorts of items in that. It's got a weird bit set and a pipe diverting tool in there. To remove it, which I'll show you shortly, you put your hand under that and lift it up. Let's have a look inside it. So, <clears throat> we've got this drop down system. And now you create like a shelf on this. So, we've got very size tool pockets, stretchy, all hand tools, but if you wish to take a tool, now, you can actually drop it in this shelf, or if you're stripping something down, you've got a shelf to uh, put your various parts on so you don't roll off. Got some more stretches on this as well for various items. I've just got a couple of small spanners and drill bits and screwdriver bits in this. Uh, now, let's say this is removable, so let's have a look at that and see what it's like. So let's zip this back up. <coughs> I 
heavy duty YKK zippers on this. So to lift the tool pouch off, you put your hand underneath this flat, lift it up, and then pull it away. So you've got this heavy duty flat on the back that's got three magnets in it. So the idea is when you've passed it through the main loop on the tool bag, you pass it through and then they magnetize themselves back together. Now the idea of the flap as well is you can put it in your pocket or your back pocket or through your belt and then close it back over, uh, which obviously you can work on your side. And when it's working on your side and the front has dropped down, that then obviously creates this shelf off your main pocket. So if you're actually working and you're pulling item screws off, nuts off, you can drop them in this main drop down area like this, as it were. That's on your side, hanging, and you've got this now shelf to put items in as you're working as well, which works really well. Uh, if you want to use it off the bag completely, uh, whether you're doing some small jobs upstairs and things like that, you've got the flap uh, can pull up, you've got this little strap that you can lift out, and then you can get that in camera shot there, and then pass that through that loop, and that gives the bag a little stand as well to elevate it a little bit. So now the bag's on its stand, you can use it independently. You've got this section stood up right, so you've got quick access to these tool pockets and a little bit of elevation to these. So let's like say you've got a nip upstairs uh, or go somewhere else in the house to do a small bit and you've got some hand tools, you don't need to take the main tool kit. Or if you're on your way home and you want to remove it from the main tool bag, nip in, do a small job and then relocate it. But basically you've got all options with this tool pouch to either leave it on the bag or use it independently. And that is the Wrenchers LC plumbing tool bag. And an awesome bit of kit it is. Been well thought out. As always, Vito quality is high end. You know, it's, it's as good as it gets. And just really well thought out and like an easy bag to work out of as well and holds a lot of kit. You know, you can load this out of as little as much as you want. I've got a lot of kit in it. And I've made it up so it's just one tool bag for me. Um, and it's got everything that I need to take into a job and do everything I need. And that is the Wrenches LC. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much.